Here we're going to be going through an example of a non-monetary exchange of some property, plant, and equipment or long-term assets here. And our example is going to be where a company trades in an old machine here for a new machine and they're also going to have to pay some extra cash here to receive this new machine. And when we're doing these non-monetary exchanges we have some specific rules to follow here. And the first thing we have to do is we have to compute any total gain or loss on the asset given up. And, and that's just the taking the fair value of the assets minus its book value and that would be determining if we have any gain or loss here. And for example here we're going to be looking at strictly a gain here that we have on this exchange. And the other thing we're going to be looking at is yes it has commercial substance. That is the if future cash flows are affected by this transaction. So they use this terminology commercial substance here and then we're going to recognize the entire gain on this. So that's going to be our for our case one here. We're also going to be looking Looking at the situation here, case two, where uh, we had to go through this equation or determine if we had any gain or loss here, and you have to know what the fair value is to do determine that and the book value. Well, in this uh, second case here, we're not going to know what the fair value is here. So what we're going to do is we're not going to be able to determine any gain or loss here. So let's go look at our example here. So Corporation A purchased a new machine here by trading in its old machine and paying the balance in cash, and the following relates to this purchase here. So the, they're going to have a cash payment due on this on this exchange. They're going to have to pay $22,000 in cash. Now I'm not going to go through all the numbers here. We're just going to go through the concentrate on the listings here and how we would make our calculation. So uh, we'd have to know the cost of the old machine here and then the accumulated depreciation we know on the old machine. So the difference between the cost and the accumulated depreciation gives us the book value of the old machine here, $84,000. Now the other thing uh, we, for case one here, we're going to know the market value of the old machine or here or its fair value. The fair value is known at $98,000. So you can see that its fair value here is greater than its book value. So we're going to have some gain here in this transaction. Now we're also going to be looking at the case here where the fair value of this machine is unknown. It's, we're not going to, it, case one we know the fair value here. Case uh, two we're not going to know the fair value or the market value on the machine here. So let's go and look at how we'd handle this exchange here. And we're going to be looking at the exchange where it has has this commercial substance and first here where the fair value is determinable here and that's our case one. So for, we have to first determine our cost of the new machine. That's simply the fair value of the old machine here plus the cash paid on the exchange here. Adding those two, uh, 98000 here, fair value plus cash paid at 22000 gives us the cost of the new machine here at $120,000. Next to determine our gain, in this case it's going to be a gain here, we just take the fair value of the old machine, 98000 here, less the book value again of the old machine, $84,000. Uh, difference here gives us a total gain on this disposal of $14,000. Now we can record this uh, entry here for, and again this is for the corporation here who's trading in their own machine here to receive the new machine. So uh, we record the new machine they're receiving here at um, its co a cost of the new machine here at $120,000 that we calculated up here. And then we re uh, remove the old machine off the books here. And first for accumulated depreciation we remove that here at the amount that we have here at $44,000. Now we would recognize a gain on this disposal. Now remember that goes on to our income statement here. So our total gain here $14,000. And then uh, remove the old machine at its cost here. It's costed $128,000. Remove that off the books. And then we also have to, our cash paid. Uh, we have to reduce our cash here by $22,000 because that was that extra $22,000 payment here that had to be made on this exchange. Now let's go look at uh, case two here where uh, the fair value of the assets exchange is undeterminable here. So going uh, down to our uh, simple equation here where we had to compute the gain or loss here on the transaction. So in this case we don't know what the fair value is. We do know what the book value is. But uh, since we don't know what the fair value is there's not going to be any gain or loss recognized here on the transaction. So to determine our basis of the new machine here we take the book value of the old machine that was $84,000 here plus the cash paid of $22,000 here 
And that would be the basis of the new machine here. That's what we would put into our cost of our new machine. So to record this uh, transaction here on this exchange, we take our new machine at the basis that we uh, determined here, $106,000. And then again, just remove the old machine off uh, accumulated depreciation off the books here, uh, $44,000. Uh, debit that here and then uh, again remove the old machine at its cost off the books here at $128,000 and then we, again we just record the cash paid here we reduce our cash by $22,000 so you can see here uh, we have no gain here when we couldn't determine the fair value on the on that exchange here of the asset that we're exchanging and then just to note here if any gain would be any gain in the future here would be reflected on the basis of the new, new machine if it is later sold and not at the time of the exchange but in this case uh, we didn't determine the um, we didn't have any gain here because we didn't know what the fair value was. So this is just an example here of how we would handle this uh, situation here where we didn't have any fair value on the machine that we were exchanging.